Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna walk you through the process of editing your video using the Filmora 9. What I like about this editing software is its lifetime subscription. Unlike the other softwares where you have to pay a regular monthly or yearly fee, which can get a bit expensive after a while. Now, let's get you started. The first two things that you need to focus on would be these two icons right here, your media and your audio. You can add your photos or videos by clicking this arrow right here or clicking this import button then selecting your media files. Before you add your videos, just have a quick look at this red slider right here. This would be your guide when you add your effects, your audio or your media files. Whether it be audio, video or effects, there are two ways to add them to your storyline. One is to click this plus button right here or you can just drag your media to the storyline itself. I personally prefer this step as you have more control on where to position your media in your storyline. What's even better is you can stack multiple videos on top of each other. Whichever video or effect that's on top would have the priority of being seen in the display. I will make another tutorial about video overlays, but for now let's just keep it simple. As you can see here, the video on the topmost of the storyline is the one being shown, and as soon as it ends, the bottom one takes over. And if you notice, the videos that I imported already have audios attached to them. You can actually mute the sound by clicking the video clip, then hover your mouse arrow over this line until you see the hand tool. Left click and hold, then drag down. For now, let's just focus on one video. Now, once again, observe the red slider. Wherever the red slider is, that would be the part of your video clip being shown on the display screen. Now that you have your video, it's time to add your music. Now go ahead and click the audio icon. And as you can see, there is already preloaded music and sound effects. But you can upload your own. Just scroll down to the bottom, click import music. You can see here all the music media and sound effects that I previously used. So if you want to upload a new one, just click import then choose your file. It should show up on the bottom. Now you're ready to use your music. To add it to the storyline, the process is the same as what we did with the videos. Only this time you drag it to the bottom part. Now that you have your video and your music, it's time to add the titles. Go ahead and click the title icon. There are so many to choose from, so you just have to take your pick. Remember, whichever effect or video is on top will take priority. Otherwise, your effect might just be hidden at the back of your videos. So go ahead and drag your desired effect to your storyline. So you now have a title that you can edit. Just double click the text on your template and the option to edit your effect will appear on the upper left portion of your screen. You can also do the same by simply clicking the effect on your storyline. Now you can edit your text. With this tool you can edit how your title looks like and how it moves. There are so many combinations that you can mix and match and play with. I will leave that bit to you. Now let's see what we have so far. So far so good. Now it's time to put your attention to these tools right here. With these you can delete, cut, crop, toggle the speed and edit the colors of your videos. You can also use some of these tools for your effects and your audio. At this point, you will now have a basic working knowledge on how to compile and create a video. What I just did right there was to cut the first video, deleted the excess footage, and added a new video clip from my library. You can also add a transition effect in between video clips. To do this, just click the transition button on the upper left hand corner of the screen. 
just select the transition effect that you want and drag it in between the videos in your storyline. This would give your movie clip a more professional look. Now there are two other options that you can add to your video to make it more interesting. Just beside your transition button is your effects and elements. The effects will make your videos look like this. And the elements will add moving characters to your videos such as emoticons, explosions, fire, and other cool stuff. Lastly, you can also have a split screen effect by using this tool right here. Once you're happy with your video compilations, then go ahead and click export. You can change your file name here. This will be your file destination. You can change the formats here. And when you're ready, just click export. This will be the next screen that you will see. At this point, all you need to do is wait for the video to finish rendering. And after that, you now have your finished product, your very own video. That's it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next episode.